Yeah. They're both bisexual. They do weird things in their house. And young men have left their house fucking screaming to get away from them and their mentorship. There were certain things that would allow me to be able to say certain things like this. Prepare to be absolutely stunned by the jaw-dropping revelation that has sent shockwaves through Hollywood. The ever-controversial Will Smith finds himself at the center of scandal once again, this time facing accusations of alleged grooming by none other than former child star Orlando Brown. Can you believe it? I mean, is it not bad enough already that Will and his wife were recently exposed for introducing their kids to psychedelic drugs? Now this? Anyway, let me break it down for you. In a series of resurfaced videos that were first released on April 15th, 2020, former child star Orlando Brown dropped a bombshell claim that shook the entertainment world to its core. The actor, known for his roles in the popular Disney shows That's So Raven and The Proud Family, made a startling revelation that he was allegedly S.A.D. by none other than Hollywood A-listers Will Smith and the late king of pop Michael Jackson. In any case, Brown's history of making outlandish remarks during interviews has left many questioning his credibility. Skeptics argue that he can't be trusted due to his erratic behavior and erratic statements. However, what if just for a moment we considered the possibility that he might be telling the truth? Despite the gravity of the accusations, mainstream media has largely avoided discussing the matter. It raises eyebrows and prompts speculation. Could it be because Will Smith is a beloved actor and nobody wants to believe he could commit such heinous acts? Or is there some sinister truth behind the silence with allegations of hush money and powerful PR machinery at play? Well, most fans believe that there is some truth to Orlando's claims. One fan commented, hell nah, he ain't lying, all these people go through it, especially in the industry at a young age. A second fan added, I don't know if he would lie, he's really serious. If this happened, I feel bad for him. These people effed him up for life and they should be ashamed. Another fan took things to a whole new level when they wrote, from what I gather, Will took an underage Orlando to a hotel room to father him into the industry with sexual favors. This happened to pretty much everyone Orlando grew up with in the industry and eventually his family members as they began to associate with the industry as well. IDK who Trent is or the Jackson, he claims to be, but I imagine it's from his past roles on shows like the Jamie Foxx show and that's so Raven that he got a play because of his sexual sacrifices to Will Smith. It goes in an EFD upcircle, like a cult. To join you must do voluntary sexual favors for roles. On the other hand, the debate surrounding Orlando Brown's mental health is another significant aspect to consider. His interviews paint a concerning picture of a troubled individual, possibly grappling with substance abuse. Many speculate about the root cause of his drug use and erratic behavior. Did his alleged traumatic experiences drive him down this destructive path? One fan commented on this saying, I think something most deaf happened to him, and I think his brain is struggling to cope with the trauma, and it shows as mental illness. So I think he rants trying to get it out, and combines everything together and unable to maybe recall exact events or fully articulate. Literally Kanye West displays some of the same behaviors. In any case, Orlando Brown is not the first person to accuse Will Smith of sexual misconduct or even of being attracted to men. Rumors and accusations have circulated for years, implicating both Smith and music mogul Diddy. By now, everybody knows that Will and Jada have been hosting strange gay parties at their home, with attendees being much younger men. These gatherings have been shrouded in secrecy, and it's rumored that only those who participate in them can advance their careers in Hollywood. In fact, Jaguar Wright has revealed that that she witnessed young men screaming while leaving their house because both Jada and Will do weird things at their house during the mentorship. What's more, according to a YouTuber by the name Trisha Paytas, Will Smith allegedly made an unwelcome sexual advance towards one of his male dancers. Trisha even went so far as to claim in a now deleted video on her YouTube channel that Will had SAD the dancer without his consent. She said, Fucking cheating husband my male dancers, you know, when they didn't want to. Adding to the speculation about Will Smith's behavior, there have been some concerning incidents involving his son, Jaden Smith. On multiple occasions, Will has tried to kiss Jaden and not on the cheek or forehead, but on the mouth. And Jaden seemed completely creeped out by it. Now, we know that parents showing affection to their children is perfectly normal, but the way Will goes about it has raised some eyebrows. It's hard to ignore the fact that forcing a kiss on your child's mouth is a bit strange to say the least. Kiss my son. 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 K
Come on. If you don't find that weird, well, this next revelation will absolutely shock you. Burt Kreischer, a highly successful touring comedian, disclosed a shocking story in which Will Smith allegedly attempted to engage in intimate activities with him and a dozen other men. According to Kreischer, when he was just starting out in the industry, he met Smith at a recording studio where he was working on his album, Willenium. The Fresh Prince was apparently impressed with Kreischer's comedy and invited him to go out with him later that evening. Kreischer, who was clueless about what was about to happen, agreed to go to the movies with Smith. However, things got weird when he called his dad to tell him about it, and his dad warned him that Smith might have had other intentions for him. His dad claimed that many men in Hollywood who have had constant intimacy with women often turn to young boys for excitement. Kreischer, initially skeptical about his dad's claims, decided to heed his advice and dressed as sloppily as possible, in overalls and a sweater. When he arrived at the designated meeting spot, a Planet Hollywood restaurant, someone told him to go downstairs, and he assumed he would have to be intimate with Smith and 12 other men. However, to his surprise, when he got to the downstairs screening room, there were 10 men waiting for him, including Jazzy Jeff. While watching the movie, no weird things occurred, and Kreischer thought he had escaped Smith's intentions. But he was in for another surprise when Smith asked him what he thought of the people in the screening room. To his amazement, Kreischer realized he had watched the movie with a room full of hip-hop icons like Cool Modi and Biz Markie, who Smith had brought in for him to meet. He brought all these hip-hop guys for me to meet, Kreischer said. I was like, I could have EFF'd Biz Markie? Kreischer's story has sparked a lot of gossip and speculation in Hollywood, with many wondering if Smith has a history of initiating young celebrities into the industry through his creepy gay parties. Some even went as far as to claim that Will has taken over the role of gatekeeping from Quincy Jones. Quincy is the head gatekeeper, one person wrote. For context, Smith's alleged gay rendezvous began with Quincy Jones. In case you don't know who this is, Quincy is a legendary producer, musician, songwriter, and so on. He's also often referred to as the black godfather of the music industry. Quincy Jones has produced for an impressive list of notable artists during his career, including Frank Sinatra, Aretha Franklin, Rufus and Chaka Khan, and Michael Jackson. But that is not all that Quincy is known for. Over the years, Jones has been at the center of scandals and speculations of being gay. Rumors have been circulating for years that he had a sneaky way of getting men into bed with him by promising them stardom in Hollywood. The list of Quincy's alleged hookups is seemingly endless, and it's not hard to see why. But there are two names that always seem to come up when people talk about his supposed flings. Those names are Tupac and Will Smith. According to the grapevine, Quincy didn't waste any time getting cozy with these two famous guys. In fact, some say he practically forced them into sleeping with him. Yikes. Some even claim that he tried to turn them gay like him. For starters, do you remember that bombshell interview with Tupac where he spilled the beans on Quincy Jones' advances? According to Tupac, Quincy straight up asked him if he wanted to get down and dirty. In the backside, no less. But here's the kicker. That interview has been scrubbed from the internet and the whole thing seems to have disappeared without a trace. Now, some people are saying that only someone with Quincy's clout could make something like that happen. And since Tupac isn't around anymore to confirm the audio, it seems like Quincy might be trying to distance himself from his dirty deeds. But get this, even Napoleon, who's been linked to Tupac in the past, is denying everything. When he was asked about the rumored relationship between Tupac and Quincy, he didn't miss a beat before staunchly defending Jones. It's all very suspicious, isn't it? But no matter how hard they try to sweep it under the rug, fans haven't forgotten a single word of that explosive Tupac interview. And this is not even the first time Tupac expressed how Quincy allegedly violated him. Tupac was also vocal about how the music mogul imposed his weird fetishes on other people. What's more, Pac believed that Quincy took advantage of his desire to rise in the hip-hop industry. The two were close to the point that before his death, Tupac was even considering leaving his signed label, Death Row Records, to join Quincy's label. In fact, Keisha Cole revealed a true story from the night of Tupac's death of how the rapper was planning on leaving Death Row Records and signed with Quincy. Although Tupac isn't around to spill the beans on Quincy's sexual exploits, it seems like Will Smith has indirectly confirmed the rumors. There have been widespread speculations on the internet that Will has taken on the role of gay gatekeeper in the industry, following in the footsteps of Diddy and Quincy. 
In fact, Keith D recently disclosed a scandalous incident involving Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith. According to Keith, there was a notorious gathering hosted by the power couple where a plethora of bizarre activities unfolded. In the midst of this extravagant soiree, Diddy allegedly made questionable advances towards Tupac Shakur, fueling speculations about their relationship. Their apparent closeness raised eyebrows, leading some to ponder whether this could be interpreted as peculiar grooming tactics orchestrated by Will and Jada. While the information circulating remains rooted in the realm of rumors and speculation, the signs and behaviors exhibited by Will Smith have become increasingly difficult to dismiss. Observers can't help but ponder whether there might be a kernel of truth to the swirling speculations. Delving deeper into the enigmatic world of Quincy Jones, it becomes apparent that his involvement extends far beyond his celebrated role as the godfather of numerous black artists. Amidst his illustrious career, Jones has found himself intertwined with various cults and groups, further fueling the intrigue surrounding his persona. Among his critics is the vocal conspiracy theorist Professor Griff, who has gone so far as to accuse Jones of participating in the shadowy underbelly of Hollywood, alleging ties to sex rings. According to Griff, as Tupac delved deeper into the glitzy underbelly of Hollywood, he unwittingly stumbled upon a labyrinth of unsettling rituals and practices, all orchestrated by the enigmatic mastermind Quincy Jones. Griff's claims paint a picture of a haunting reality, where Tupac, the rising star, was helplessly ensnared in a twisted web of coerced participation, forever marked by his entanglement with the industry's dark side. The shocking revelation doesn't stop there. Griff boldly confirms the long-standing rumor that Quincy Jones, the influential maestro, shamelessly attempted to manipulate Tupac into engaging in sexual escapades against his will. Meanwhile, fans have since applauded Griff for exposing all these shady things happening in Hollywood. This was my very first video that opened my eyes to the industry. I will forever salute Professor Griff for that awakening, one fan wrote, while a second one added, best leave these elitists alone. First off, all happening is supposed to happen until this earth ends. Nobody has the power to overthrow it. In any case, it seems clear that Will Smith has learned from the best in the business. It's possible that Quincy passed the torch to Will, who is now rumored to be responsible for introducing young celebrities to Hollywood through his disturbing gay sex parties. And in the midst of this whirlwind, Orlando's voice emerges as a beacon of light, piercing through the layers of deception and silence. His willingness to step forward, to confront the demons that lurk in the dark corners of the industry becomes a call to action, a call for accountability, transparency, and the dismantling of the culture of impunity. Anyway, as we delve into the maze of scandal and secrets, it's important to balance our curiosity with a touch of skepticism. The unverified nature of these claims calls for a careful approach that prioritizes truth over juicy gossip. Well, that wraps up this video, folks. See you next time. Bye.